in the search for the new <coughs> next superintendent. We decided that it was our obligation to conduct a search to advertise this position. We did so and decided to do so on a regional basis. We defined regional as the northeastern part of our country, including the states of Virginia and Ohio. That did not mean that anyone could not apply from outside their region. That was simply the, the area that we would dedicate our advertising and our search to be. As many of you know, we did contract with the Pennsylvania School Boards Association to act as our agent on this matter. School boards have neither the resources, frankly, or the experience to do this themselves. We did sign a contract with PSBA to conduct this search for us. We signed a contract with them in the amount of $11,000. I'm very pleased to report to all of you this evening the total cost where this process was up only $4,600, less than 50%. When PSBA advertised the position on our behalf, there were initially 20 expressions of interest. They came in via emails or telephone calls, and that is the usual process where people simply seek additional information about a position. From those 20 expressions of interest, nine individuals made formal application. The board met several times and carefully considered every one of the nine applications. We further reduced that number to three persons and gave further review, and, and including additional look at their education and background. It became apparent to this board, we did not vote on this anywhere other than here tonight. We certainly have the right on the public school code to discuss a matter of this magnitude, and we did so. We came to the conclusion, and you heard in a unanimous vote tonight, that we actually had by far the most superior candidate right here, employed by us, Assistant Superintendent Dr. Carol Johnson. That's how we got to this point. So we, at, when you had that superior person already employed by you, we made the decision with which you heard tonight. We will, in, in succeeding months, Dr. Johnson will be meeting with the public in a variety of settings. We prefer more smaller, less formal settings. We're considering doing that in high school or in middle school cafeterias. We can invite the public, and it can be a conversation between her and members of the public. And we, we took this, we took this, matter very, very, very seriously. And I believe we did our due diligence, and I believe we came up with an outstanding individual who will lead this district in very, very difficult times to come. So again, congratulations, Dr. Johnson. We now move on to 